Hey, how's everybody doing today? Well, I'm back with another shot video. This one's going to be on a key light. You want to call it a soft light, whatever it may be. It's made for shooting video, well, helping with the shooting video or even photos. So, what I have here, just got this in. It's made by a company called Viltrox. Um, came through Amazon. It was like forty. I think it was like forty-five dollars for this. It's a professional light. It's a professional LED light. It's the L one one six T kit. So it comes with a battery, a charger, a power cable. Need glasses, and it comes with adjustable brightness and temperature control. When it comes to lights, temper control is the lower number, which is called cold and warm. The color will look more of a, when it's like down to 33, 3300, or 33,000, I think, maybe. Anyways, when it's down to that lower number, it's usually in a bluer color, and as it goes up, it'll get into the mid-range of that color, which will be more of a, what they call a daytime, white, bright color. And then as it gets hotter, it'll go orange. So you can get different, get different tints for whatever type of mood you want the video picture to be in. Anyways, I'm gonna bring in the camera a little bit closer to this. And we're going to do a quick unboxing, then we're going to set it up. And I just really want to see how this thing works out. I have a couple other. I have like a um, the Logitech Key Light. I have a couple other ones, a Ulanzi, some smaller ones. And they, they seem to be too close when I'm shooting video as far as like streaming, gaming. They're so bright. Even when I try to tone them down, it's like... Boom, what a punch. There's buttons on the back that you can press to change the temperature and the amount of brightness that you're going to put out on the light. But um, it's still the smaller the area, the more confined, the more direct sunlight is focused in one area, which isn't good when it's up close because it's kind of getting slammed in one spot. So I figured I'd pick up something a little brighter, a little bigger, put it up on a wall a little bit further away and see how it works. Um, the values on this, yes, it's 33K to 56K. That's the adjustment for the brightness. It's also, let me see, the brightness ranges from 20% to 100%, which can be adjusted. Wow, okay, 987 looms. That's, uh, pretty bright it operates off of 15 watts one battery is approximately 2.4 hours color rendering and index is whatever I don't know what this means but basically it's 95 RA um, input you don't really need that dimensions is 192 millimeters by 128 by 30 so 30s probably like I don't know maybe two inches thick uh, by nine ten inches wide and the height on it is probably around five but we'll get a better look at that the approximate weight is 260 grams and in the box it comes with one LED one hot shoe adapter I use a manual, your warranty paper, one lithium battery, and a lithium battery charger. I don't know if the battery needs to be charged or you can charge it with a power cable going directly to it. So we're going to find out when we open it. So let's take a quicker look. I want to keep this one shot. And let's open her up. No tape or anything holding it closed. It did come in a cardboard box. Okay, we have uh, your, I guess this would be your warranty paper or maybe something for notes. 
Could be, anyways. Small manual, basically just one sheet of paper that's folded in half that shows some basic instructions in 30 different languages. Oh, okay, English. Uh, attention, product features, da da da. All common sense. I think it also has an LED screen on it with a knob so you can actually see your values. So I'm kind of hoping it does. It showed it in the picture, but then again, I have ordered things before I've looked at pictures and it's not quite what I received. Wow, okay. So you can see all the little tiny LED. That's a lot. I'm sure the LEDs are in back and these are little, some types of holes, but it is a professional. Okay, great, well. Okay, so you have a place to put your battery, power on and off, and a small LED screen that you can adjust. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, it looks like a small, almost looks like something for a GoPro, kind of. I guess you could use it, but it's, you can put your light on it. Oh, well, yeah, okay, I see what it does. All right, everything on it is quarter inch screws. Okay, loosen, tighten, not bad. Wow, it's a thick battery. And not much for a cable to charge with, but it is USB-C and I do have a ton of those. So let's kick all this stuff over there. So I guess the way this would operate would be... So what are you going to buy your 12 volt charger to go into that? I might have something that will fit that. We'll check that out later. Okay. It has two small little notches in the bottom with some metal. I wonder if this also sends power into the battery. I'm sure it does. Probably, yes, positive and negative. Okay. Okay. So. And it does have some power. So this is what I'm talking about. I don't want to blow out the camera. But here we are. At 20%. That's as low as it will go. Right now it's at 44K, which is way too high. The battery is at 100%. Wow. So here we are at, that would be 50%. It's around 75, and that's 100. So yes, it's bright. And how the temperature has changed. I like the little, it's already losing battery real quick. How do you change the temperature? Oh, I see. You hold this. It blinks. And from there, you can change your temperature. See how it gets yellow is hot. Now we're more into natural daylight. And then you get that colder blue look. I like it. It's big. It's bright. I hope I have a cable that runs to it so instead of using the battery all the time I can power it directly off a power source without having to take this thing on and off the, the wall mount. Well, I'm kind of looking forward to giving this a shot.
Okay, I'm back anyways. I thought I'd just chime in real quick to give you a heads up. The battery on this, it's great if you're going to be bringing this with you. About two and a half hours charge time. It's nice to have a little portable light like this. But, it's quite heavy. So I did grab um, a 12 volt adapter. Plugged it in and wanted to see if it would work and sure enough it does so if it's going to be stationary at your house I would definitely recommend it this to do it this way because to put this on any stand or any wall mount or however you're going to do it the battery weighs probably as much as the light itself altogether so that would be the route that I would go is I would leave this off charge it and keep it in your, 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 your uh, you know, I would leave this off, charge it, and keep it in your bag for when you're heading out somewhere. You'd at least have one battery and you could count on a couple hours of using it to get some light. But everything works fine. So, pretty psyched. I'm glad I found this. Well, I actually got a ton of different sizes, but kind of saved the day. I'm almost thinking that if you can get one of these adapters to a USB, it would do the same thing. So, if you could go 12 volt from a USB into this, would let me turn this off. One of these style adapters, it, it, I, I could pretty much probably guarantee that that it would work. So. That would be another option too. Cool, well, cool, well. All right. So I don't know where I'm going to throw this in because I already said bye, but I can cut it out and tell y'all. Now I can wrap up this video and wish y'all a great, safe, happy week all weekend. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, Give me a like. It really does help out the channel. Helps out a lot, and I do appreciate it. Any questions, feel free to send me an email. Send, uh, contact me on YouTube. I will get back to you. Everybody, take care. Peace.